Johnny Green back with another installment of the Higher Things Club. I have no less than three things that I'm excited about in this video. First of all, got a whole bunch of dabs. Hot deal weekend in total for all four grams of those dabs. Four different varieties. Like $39. A steal of a deal to be sure. I also got this new gadget that I'm going to try out, which is ultimately what this video is going to be about. First, I want to show you the third thing. Oh yeah, look at that. Rotating. Put the thing down, flip it, and reverse it. All right, super nerdy, I know, but I'm all jazzed up about it. So let's start talking about this device here. The Luca Original Design Only Seahorse Pro Plus. It says it's easy to clean, gray color. I actually went to the head shop to just get a can of butane. I'm gonna bust this out, pull tab. Put that up there. Got the device itself, which is pretty cool. I like the color gray. Got a little bit of a tutorial ahead of time. The person that worked at the head shop at least pretended, I don't know if they really use this on the daily, but they pretended very well that they do and told me a lot about the features of it. For starters, this cap right here, anyone who watches this channel knows that I'm a big fan of the nectar collector concept. and. This is my first electronic version of one. One thing that I'd say about nectar collectors in general, they're really hard to transport if you use them often because the tip, if you use it as often as I do, it's pretty much permanently hot. So anytime you want to try to transport it, you want to take it on a field trip or a picnic or whatever you're trying to do that day, you either have to not bring your nectar collector or you have to wait for this to cool down the tip of it or by some miracle, and I've tried this with varying degrees of success, you try to prop it up against something in your car or whatever typically it falls over and burns a hole in whatever is nearby with all that in mind having a tip and it feels like it just magnetically connects on there no matter how hot you get this if it's time to time to go you can go i don't know that i'd stick it in my pocket but i could at least put it back into its carrying case from whence it came if you can see here it's got a ceramic tip let's see there i think this tip comes off yeah it does let's Let's twist it off. It's gonna make life a lot easier for cleaning. I can already see right now. I also was told, and I can see now, that this device is threaded for 510 cartridges. So in addition to being a little mobile electronic nectar collector dab flute, it also serve as just your regular vape pen battery. Look a lot cooler than the average vape pen battery. One thing that's gonna make it easier to clean, as the person was explaining to me, is that this glass piece right here, comes off yeah look at that you assume if you're in there dipping the tip mostly what what doesn't get caught just immediately in the tip is going to go into this glass portion here and if you can just take this out and submerge it it's super easy to clean so between this in the tip you're looking at just this and i would imagine this does not get too gunked up maybe from time to time inside of there maybe got something funky going on all right let's see what else is in the box here so at the very least i'm assuming we're gonna have yep yeah, just as i suspected you got your directions of use that up there so inside of here we have the charger as expected i said this cool pipe cleaner dealio see how well it fits through this hole oh yeah it goes all goes all the way up in there shoots out the other end so you could clean this super thorough between taking it apart and using this bristled ramrod you get it nice and clean and then last but not least there's this in there and the person at the head shop had alluded to this that in addition to a nectar collector and being a vape pen battery you can also attach this to the mouth part of it and put this in your bong take bong hits using this thing all right now i'm excited so the next thing i gotta do is i gotta charge it i'm gonna throw it on the charger take some old-fashioned bong hits get back to business once it's fully charged when this is charging it's red and pulsing when it is fully charged it's this color which means it's game time all right now that we're all charged up i was looking over the instructions only got one button one, two, three, four, five. Turn it off and on. Has three temperature settings. The one that it came set on was the low one, blue, but basically this thing is kind of like a handheld soldering iron. For folks that are familiar with that, instead of soldering stuff, you're getting really, really high. Both are worthwhile activities, I assume. Now let's take our choice of what's on here. Again, 
Check out my new rotator. QVC doesn't got nothing on Johnny Green. Order your dab hit now. We'll throw in a second dab hit for free. We'll go with the Mac Head OG. Take a gander at it. Now, let's take a dip. Didn't get too big of a hit that first one. A little bit of residue on there. I upped the voltage on it. If you hit the button three times, you can go from blue to I think like a purple magenta kind of a color to white. You can see, I don't know, well, maybe you can't see on the camera, but it heats up pretty fast. <sighs> Wowzers, that one definitely worked. So I went for the hottest setting, dipped the tip, and that thing attacked me. Something fierce. One thing that's probably nearly impossible to capture on camera is you can see your cloud building up in here. You can you can tell when you're pressing on it and you're getting something which is appreciated. So this is definitely a fun little tool. But now we ask the obvious question: how much did it cost? I bought this, it was a Black Friday deal for $36.99. When I looked on their website, it was, I think, a regular price of $53, but they had their own Black Friday deal. And I've seen some websites that sell them as low as about $35. So I guess wherever you could find one, for the cheapest you could find one, as long as it's an authentic Luca Seahorse Pro Plus, you definitely buy with confidence. Like I was saying earlier, not only can you dip the tip for your dabs in nectar collector fashion, you can also pull off the tip. I won't do it right now because it's probably burning hot, but you could use a vape pen cartridge in there and and one thing I'm definitely excited to try is this little flimsy dealio here that will allow you, like I was saying before, to bring water into the equation. Put this into the, your down stem of your bong, hit this pen in something and start gripping and ripping. And that's fun even when you're by yourself. In summary, the Luca Seahorse Pro Plus, two thumbs up from me. Look for one today and buy with confidence.